friends, it's Deb. I am doing the November update for Zodiac Pans. Hashtag Zodiac Pans. This was a Fantastic Ladies collab project created by Kena. Kena took each of the Zodiac signs, assigned them a color. In turn, we were to take a product to match those colors. Started on the 21st of March this year and ends on the 21st of March next year. Myself and a group of extremely lovely ladies chose to do this with all eyeshadows. A couple of months ago, I refreshed my palette because I had hit five pans. I have hit two more, so I think I'm going to make this my finale because when I sat down today to film another video, I realized that I have not touched this palette not one single time since my last update. And I don't want to have this project hanging over my head if it's not a, bringing me joy, and B, if I'm not doing it justice. So, that being said, I'm going to try to pop up a picture now of what my palette looked like at the very beginning. I'm hoping that now I can post a picture showing the five shadows that I hit pan in first. The yellow was for Gemini. That's a look -see single in Lick It, Slam It, Suck It nine uses. The silver next to that was for Cancer. That was from the Natasha Denona five pan palette number seven. That's the shade Quicksilver that had been used prior to being put in this project, but I hit pan in this project after six more uses. The brown is for Virgo. That is a Makeup Geek single in bottom line, 18 uses. The one on the bottom left is for Scorpio, that is a look -see single in Hustle. And on my first or second use, that shade crumbled and basically gave me like fake pan, but I ended up using it just a total of three times and it looks like I used it a ton, but I did not. And next to that, the darker purple is for Sagittarius, that is another look -see single called High Roller. I used that 11 times. Now I will pop up a picture of what my refresh palette looks like when I added in the five new shades. And basically, I'm going to say exactly what I said last month because I have not touched it. Starting with the top left shade, the red one, that is for Aries. That is from the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. That is the shade Lola. 18 total uses and so, so, so close to pan. The blue next to that is for Taurus. That is from the Natasha Denona Jubilee Palette. That is the shade Mint Frost. Four uses. The yellow was a replacement shade. That is for Gemini, that is from the Natasha Denona Jubilee palette. That is the shade Limoncello, three uses. The black next to that was one of my replacement shades. That is for Cancer, that is from the Natasha Denona five pan palette number seven, and the shade Anthrazit. That also had some use on it before it came into this project. I hit pan after five additional uses but I was using a very, very, very tiny brush to use that for just the outer corner and for a liner. So getting pan on that was easier than it should have been for a color like that for me. The orange is for Leo. That is a look -see single in space case, 11 total uses. The brown at the very end on the top row was a replacement shade. That is for Virgo. That is from the Natasha Denona Cupid palette. That is the shade Nude Vino. 21 uses and you can't tell it's been used. Going to the bottom row, the pink is for Libra. That is a look -see single in Tesla, seven total uses. 
the red shade next to that is one of the replacement shades. This is for Scorpio. It is from the Natasha Denona Cranberry palette. The shade Sakura, five uses. Next to that is another replacement shade. This is for Sagittarius. This is from the Natasha Denona five pan palette number 10 in the shade Vintage, five total uses. The lighter brown next to that is for Capricorn. That is from the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. The shade Satin Skin, nine total uses. The blue is for Aquarius. That is from the Natasha Denona five pan palette number seven. That is the shade Petrol Blue, nine total uses. And on the very end is for Pisces. That is a Luxie single in Siren of the Sea. And I did hit teeny tiny little pan after 12 uses. So overall, I have hit a total of seven pans in this project. Some of them were extremely easy to hit, uh, easier than they should have been probably, but yeah, I'm very comfortable ending this project right now. I just, yeah, I'm okay with that. N next year, the way that I go about using eyeshadows is going to be completely different and I'm really excited for that and yeah. I, I, this is a good time for this one to end. So thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a really good day or night, and uh, I love you. Okay, bye. I've been sitting here for a long time, way longer than I want to admit, trying to figure out the easiest way for me to do it that would also be the least boring. And there's not a happy medium. What fucking color is that anyway? <sighs> the wheels on the struggle bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. I think the wheels on my struggle bus are just fucking flat, you know what I mean? Like the struggle bus is struggling to even just be a struggle boss. My soul is so tired. I wrote that. For you. You're welcome.